You want to have your own special build plate for Prusa Slicer for your custom added 3D printer? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two tools that can help you with your special custom build plate right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. You know, recently I have added the Easy 3D K9 to Prusa Slicer. And since this is a custom 3D printer, you will get this standard grid build plate. Nothing fancy, nothing special. But I found a way to give you a special custom 3D build plate for Prusa Slicer for your custom 3D printer. You need two tools. One of them is Tinkercad. I know it's, it's a very basic CAD design program, but within this program, you can create an STL file needed for the build plate. The other one is the graphics that is going to be on top of the build plate. For that, I use Canva. Canva I use for a long time for all my thumbnails, for all my logos and other stuff, graphics related. Of course, you don't need to use Tinkercad and also not uh, Canva. You can also use uh, similar programs that you are more familiar with. Let's get into the Tinkercad and show you exactly what I did. So this is Tinkercad. Within Tinkercad, I made already the build plate. So to try it out, to see what works and how it works. You know, I think if you are going to do something like this, very custom made, I think you are more familiar with the CAD designing software. So I will leave that part out. But basically, the basic thing to do, if you're going to make that, make sure to have the build plate volume, the build plate size, so that you know exactly where the midpoints are from your build plate. Very important. Make sure that it is exactly in the middle from the bigger build plate. Resize it if if it is needed. If you're going to put something like this little lip in there, make sure to add it on the last moment. I have also added the screw holes because I don't want to have my parts or my nozzle hitting that. So I also measured it out and made sure that it is also on there as well. And further, one little secret in here, make sure that the build plate is exactly underneath the work plane because if you don't do that, you will get some weird results, which you maybe don't like. I don't like it, and I think the same counts for you. So once that is done, um, you're going to select it and you are going to export it as an STL file. Once selected STL, rename it as you want, but make sure to have a reference to the desired 3D printer and also put it somewhere in the folder so that you don't throw it away by accident. So uh, let's go for the graphics side of the whole thing. So for this part, I use Canva. Make sure that if you are going to design something, make sure that the resolution is 4096 times 4096. Whatever you do on, on here, don't use too much vibrant colors don't use any pictures with a lot of colors in it keep it as basic as possible so that you get a nice graphic design just like i did here i use some dots i use my my logo and i also used here zagri 3d prints so that it all looks nice right so once that is done uh, and you are going to download it download it as a png file i saw that that works the best and then put it also in the same folder name the folder like build plate and then the name of the printer brand that you are going to do that this for so once that is done let's uh let's do the part on prusa slicer as you can see this is the custom 3d printer build plate in prusa slicer and like mentioned in in the beginning this looks very basic and you know Let's do something about it. So since this is a custom printer, it doesn't matter what you do. Make sure that after every change you've done, make sure to save it. But we will get later on that. We go to printer settings. Make sure to have selected the right printer. Bed shape set. So here you will set your build volume for the X and for the Y axis. So in, in my case, for the easy 3D K9, it's 100 times 100. 
origin is at 0.0. So for the texture, here we are going to load the PNG file. So in this case, we are going here. And here I've got here 4096. Let's select that one. Open. For the model, we are going to take the build plate. Easy 3D bat without logo. That's the one. You select it. Open. So once that is done, we click on OK. So before we are going to change this profile, make sure to have the right settings. And this is the result. It looks way better and not so boring anymore. So once that is done, we are going to save it. So we are going to go in printer settings and we click on save preset. Okay. And now if you are going to slice now something, you know, for example, the calibration cube, doesn't this look amazing? Here you have the end result, a very nice custom made build plate with a very nice uh, graphics on top of it. And uh, now you can slice your models. Have fun slicing. Oh, I was talking about the easy 3D K9 3D printer. What was my unboxing and, you know, experience with it. Well, check out this video right over here to find out.